Roman Catholic bishops in Burundi have denounced a planned referendum on whether to amend the constitution. The changes, which will be voted on in two weeks' time, could see President Pierre Nkurunziza remain in power for at least 14 more years. Three years ago, his bid to run for a third term led to violence. And Soy reports. <laughs> Government campaigns for a review of the constitution to be held in two weeks. This man, President Pierre Kurunziza, has been in power since 2005 and he's not done. But he's confident that he can make Burundians dance to his tune. The example comes from above and spreads everywhere in the country. So take me as an example. I'll vote yes. I would also like to announce that whether it is a Burundian or a foreigner who tries to be an obstacle to this election, he will be accountable to Almighty God. The main opposition coalition, Amizero, is also campaigning but faces an uphill struggle against a ruling party determined to mobilize all means to succeed. A yes vote is widely expected to carry the day and enable the president to run for two more seven-year terms, but Catholic bishops have warned against carrying out the referendum now. In a statement, they argue that people are no longer free to directly say what they think because they fear reprisals. The bishops criticize the speeches, intimidation and the conduct of some Burundians who take advantage of their leadership positions and forcefully silence the ideas and freedoms of dissenting voices. The country descended into chaos in April 2015 when President Nkurunziza insisted on running for a controversial third term. Human rights groups say hundreds of people, probably more, have since been killed. More than 400,000 were forced from their homes and now they face the possibility of 16 more years under Nkurunziza. And so, BBC News, Nairobi. Let's get more on this story now from my colleague Florentine Quizera. She's with the BBC Great Lakes Service. Florentine, how significant are the bishops in Burundi? The voice of the bishops is quite significant in the country. They have been expressing themselves on matters that of concern in the country, even in the past. This is not the first time. At the beginning of this present crisis in 2015, they were among the first to tell President Kurunziza not to bid for another term, even before the ruling party announced his, that his, uh, he was their candidate. And, and what kind of impact will this statement from the Catholic bishops then have on the situation in Burundi right now? Uh, it's very hard to tell. It's hard to say that those who were worried to go out and cast their vote will be going out because this communique has come out. But what we should remember is that these bishops are decent to uh, those who are cl following the situation in Burundi closely. Remember one hashtag that went viral back in 2015. It was hashtag Sindumuja. That was used by protesters to say that uh, they, are not, they, they, are, they, they don't accept to be taken hostages by those who want to cling on power. It came out from one of their communique. So they are listened to, yeah. but saying that this will bring people to go and cast their vote because they have said people would not, shouldn't be intimidated, it's very hard to say now. Okay, Florentine Quizara, thank you very much for your insight into that story.